We're checking now with Catherine, who's been looking at some of the key battlegrounds. Catherine. That's right. Look, all throughout this election, we've been focusing on the battlegrounds, and I suppose one that stood out pretty early for us was the North Queensland region. There are a few ministers that have seats up there for the LNP. Now, while the vote is still being counted, it's still early days yet, you will notice that if we punch in some of the two-party preferred results, it's looking as though... We've got a bit of a red swing happening right across the north and it's bad news, especially in Mundingburra, where David Crisofulli, the local government minister, really does look like he may lose his seat. We also earlier gave the boot to uh, the mining minister, Andrew Cripps, in Hinchinbrook. Obviously, that's not displaying right here, right now, but it looks as though it's a bit of a red wash for the uh, far north. Let's bring it back, though, to the outer rim of Brisbane, which has always been the district where we thought we would see uh, Labor maybe come back and that would set the tone of this election. Well, at the moment, we've got quite a significant portion of blue seats there, seats that uh, they were surprised to win in 2012, such as Logan and uh, Waterford, a very safe Labor seat uh, prior to 2012. So it was probably expected that those seats were going to fall. But then you've also got seats like Palmerstone, which is uh, held by Lisa France, and she's a bit of a bright star in the LNP. She's on a fairly safe margin as well there, 12.1%. But again, when we look at some of the potential changes here, you see that's a huge red result right around that outer rim region. Uh, it looks as though an upset in Palmerstone. In fact, it looks like Cleveland may be the only uh, LMP seat to hang on in that district. Interesting in this place as well is if you look at Springwood, which is considered again a bit of a bellwether seat. It's fallen with the government at the last 10 elections and at this point it looks as though it's going to fall with Labor and that could spell a positive result uh, for the ALP at this election. All right, thanks, Catherine. Uh, let's have a look. But right now we're going to check in with Catherine Feeney uh, with some of those social media comments you've been receiving. That's right, Melissa. Look, social media was such a huge part of the election campaign and it's being a huge uh, response that we're seeing tonight. We're having tweets averaging over 500 a minute coming through your social media responses. Of course, all you need to do is affix hashtag QLD votes to get your tweets and Instagram posts shared up here. Let's take a look at what a tweeter has to say. On the upside, the LNP can rest assured that if the ALP don't keep their promises, they'll be getting the Channel 9 News boot in three years from now. Uh, the boot's also getting some love from Luke Robinson. Loving Laurie giving the boot to all the LMP MPs. Uh, Derek Barry has also sent us a tweet. Premier Palaszczuk has a ring to it using that hashtag QLD votes. Over to Ryan now and wow, Ashgrove really hates Campbell Newman. So it's quite a strong reaction coming to us through the social media channels tonight. Queensland votes, goodbye Campbell Newman, we won't miss you, uh, from Thomas. Uh, John Kowski sent us a photograph here. This is the exact moment that the Greens in Ashgrove and Mount Cutha found out about that Ashgrove result. And as you can see, well, the picture does, does paint a, a, a picture of a thousand words. Paul Jaffa, meanwhile captures the mood in Ashgrove at the Labor Party and there's balloons and streamers. Uh, we want to see your parties at home if you've got the wine uh, uncorked, the cheese platters out. There was a fantastic movie about oh, election nights uh, made not too long ago, so please, by all yeah. means, mean, yeah. send through your, your photos and your tweets. Uh, you know, Spencer, have I mean, you got any green. election night party traditions beyond sitting at home, crunching the numbers, uh, maybe some oysters and champagne? Mine's some oysters and champagne. Spencer, <laughs> Spencer doesn't drink. 